Hey YouTube, I just want to show you my uh, reenacting, Civil War reenacting uh, 19th century pair of shoes. These are civilian style shoes. Uh, I got it from Missouri Boot and Shoe. I think he makes the best uh, reproduction 19th century shoes uh, out there that I know of. Um, extreme high quality. And uh, the way that he does it is you have a piece of paper, take your, uh, your foot, trace around the edges uh, with the socks on that you'll be wearing with your shoes and then uh, you also measure some other points I don't remember what they're called but I think you measure the width here the width here and then your ankle and, uh, and maybe another width over here and uh, you send it all in to them he tells you what to get and they come out just fitting perfect you know they're custom made to fit your feet exactly he doesn't pre-make these and have sizes 10 or 11. Um, they're custom fit. Great, great fitting shoes. These are English walking shoes, um, civilian style, um, which are great for um, any any impression. Uh, maybe not so much a uh, enlisted foot soldier, although they would be wearing these as well, but not so common. Mainly more for officers or um, well, whatever. But uh, I'll show you. It's all top grain cowhide leather here, and it's been painted. Um, I don't. I, I don't believe it's been dyed. I think it has been actually painted. That's what it looks like to me. The the leather here, and uh, maybe he did dye it and then put a paint over it or something. Um, interesting the way he does it. Uh, great quality. It's got brass rivets here for the shoelaces. Leather shoe st uh, shoelaces. Um, with all all brass hardware, and this is the shoe. And it's all leather soles, just like they should be. You got uh, one, two, three, four, five layers of uh, leather here. That you can, uh, when they wear down, you can remove them. Here you see the uh, the nails that he used to uh, secure the leather together. the other side of the shoe. I just want to show you these shoes. Um, I think they're this, they're called CV9 civilian um, English walking shoes. Um, excellent for the 19th century shoes and they're actually very comfortable. Yeah, um, can wear them all day long and your, your, your feet don't hurt which I have pretty sensitive feet and they hurt a lot and um, these shoes I've never had any issues. Some, somehow they're just extremely comfortable. Um, they don't have a sole that's removable. It's, uh, it's in there all the time. I believe it's a leather sole, but it's just, I don't know, they're just really comfortable. Um, no complaints about these shoes at all. So I figured I'd show you this. Uh, Missouri Boot and Shoe makes these. Uh, he makes lots of good different uh, variants of 19th century shoes. He's got uh, of course, your Confederate shoes, um, just your regular brown brogans, um, which is probably a pretty popular model that he sells. Um, then he also has your um, Union style shoes um, and uh, civilians, and then lots of different nice kinds of boots. I'd like to get a pair of boots from him. Um, I haven't. But if I get another pair, uh, it'll definitely be from Missouri Boot and Shoe. And uh, they'll be the uh, the boots. He makes really nice everything. Everything he makes. Actually, he makes haversacks and stuff too. And those look really nice. Um, look like haversacks and uh, oh, what are they called? Uh, I'm not thinking about it. But the backpacks. Uh, I'm actually gonna make a video on on um, on one of. The one I have, which is not from him, um, it's, it's from Dixie Leatherworks, and I'm gonna show you about that. Uh, I'm just not having a brain fart. I can't think what they're called. But uh, anyways, just wanted to show you my Missouri boot and shoe, leather shoes, English walking shoes, and uh, man, check them out if you're in the market for a pair of 19th century reproduction shoes. He makes pretty much any model you need.